John Montgomery first delighted Canadians by winning gold. He's made it big on the global stage. John has remained one of Canada's favourite ambassadors, not just for sport, but also as a host of CTV's Amazing Race Canada. He is a charming ambassador for the country's most beautiful sights. He will always still show how proud he is of his Canadian roots. In talks, he combines his experience as a professional athlete and national spokesperson to show us how to value our strengths, rise to our challenges, and follow our passions. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. The pride of Russell, Manitoba. John Montgomery. How is everybody doing tonight? Good afternoon, everyone. It's great to be here in our nation's capital. Truly in life, things are only out of our reach if we put them there. If we use words like, I can't, I won't, I'm not good enough, it will be a self-fulfilling prophecy. And whether you think you can or you can't, you're right, absolutely. If I was going to be good at skeleton racing, not only would I have to be better at it physically and practice harder, but I would also have to be more confident in my abilities than I'd been about anything else in my life up until this point. What I was looking for and what I wanted to possess is something called self-efficacy. The unwavering belief that you will accomplish that which you seek. How can I create this feeling within me that will allow me to believe that my dreams are accessible and they are possible? Small victories was paramount in the beginning of skeleton racing. And in times of great change and adversity, it's these small victories which keeps things scalable, keeps things manageable, keeps things in perspective. You'll never earn anything in life that's truly worth earning on your own. You will always need to collaborate, synergize, and rely on somebody else for some sort of support or help to get anything truly magical done in this life. I watched my peers compete and prevail on the Olympic stage, and I said to myself in 2006, why not me? 2010 turned from something that I wanted to do, representing Canada, to something that I was doing. When you're standing at the start line for your final Olympic descent, the next 52 seconds of your life has the last eight years of your life crammed into it. Being present in a moment like this stems from confidence. It stems from the work that you've invested prior to this point. This is what they gave us for our efforts. That's Canada's medal. I get to keep it and I will uh, hold it for us. Um, but if I could, I would cut it into 36 million pieces and send you all your rightful share because it is our country's medal. And while I was the proverbial uh, tip of the iceberg, you know, the, the part that you see flying down the uh, crazy carpet run. What you don't see is 36 million people buoying me up and giving me the notion that sport can be more, that it can be inspirational, not to get out there on that same field of play, but to attack life, to find uh, dreams and goals that are worth going after and giving everything of yourself uh, to those dreams and goals. I have been given a platform to be able to pay it forward and to affect change. Let's go, leading gentlemen, let's have ourselves an auction sale. A highlight of each talk for me is a live auction to raise money for a charity of your choosing. Now this is a man that knows how to get it done at an auction sale. A thousand dollars! By having some fun and calling some bids, together we can give back to your community. Anybody want 55? Last call at 5500 to buy! Sold! $5,000 over here, does the buy-in, good eye, good vibe. Roughly 900 folks are tuning in right now. The halt of in-person events has provided me with the opportunity to create virtual keynote presentations for inclusion in your virtual events. Ask me for details on how we can make a virtual talk work for you. I'm gonna stick around, please uh, come say hello, wear the medal, uh, get your paw prints on it, and everybody keep doing what you're doing. Uh, our communities in Canada are better for all of you in them. Thank you very much. If you'd like more info or would like to chat, I'd love to speak with you. Until then, take care.